Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's B Milton. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host here on the Redskins Review. You guys, today Jay Gruden was officially fired. Um, and this is my thank you video. Um, I made one of these videos for RG3 back in the day when um, we finally dropped him or whatever happened to him. Um, and just making a video, you know, nothing, I'm not going to put anything negative really in this video. You know what I mean? Um, th that's for a different place, a different time. We've already, we've already gone through, you know, why uh, Jay Gruden, you know, is, is is ultimately relieved of his duties and things like that. But that's not what this video is for. Um, this video is just to say thank you. Um, thank you for your time and your service uh, and some decent memories. I mean, um, sure, we didn't get the results that we won, and, you know, that's ultimately what led us to be here. But if you just, you know, slow things down a bit, Jay Gruden wasn't the worst coach we could have had, you know what I mean? Um, he's done things, he's, he, the last couple of years we've had so many injuries, and for last year, I mean, what he did with the offensive line and what he did with all the injuries that we had last year to make us still somewhat reputable, I mean, you know, I, I can't speak on it enough. It didn't happen this year, but, um, you know, he's actually gone out and, he grinded, man, and you know, unfortunately, um, I think I think the reason why we all like Jay Gruden is also his downfall as a head coach in the NFL. He's a likable guy. We like Jay Gruden. I like Jay Gruden. That's why I'm making this video. Thank you for your time, and thank you for putting up with Bruce Allen every day, and then still coming up here and talking to Redskins fans with a smile on your face, man. Trying to trying to up, you know, just always lighten the mood and you know make things seem better when you're like reading off a laundry list of injuries that we have you know what I mean um it, it was definitely a different take at a coach um that I've seen here in Washington in a long time um you know just just the way that he conducts himself and yet again like I'm saying his what the reason that we all liked him was basically his downfall at the same time you know, he's a likable guy. Um, we see Chris Thompson literally crying when he's thinking about Jay Gruden leaving because Jay Gruden's kind of the one who believed in him and gave him his, his job and stuff like that. And that's, the, but see, that's also the issue is like he believes in people like Colt McCoy. You know, Jay Gruden wants to win his way. He wants to do things his way. Some of these things I, I applaud him for coming in here and, and getting the job and saying, hey, you know what, you know, RG3 is just not the guy, you know, maybe he's not an NFL quarterback, maybe you need to come to terms with that, and we need to move on in a different direction, he stood up to, to Bruce Allen and, and the organization, he's done that a couple of times, and, and right now we're faulting him for it, you know what I mean, there's things that he did that we don't love, like sitting Adrian Peterson the first week of the season, he did things that we don't love, but at least he um, stood up and kind of stuck it to uh, the organization and, and, and people who um, are telling him how to run his team, um, at least he stuck by his guns, you know what I mean? Um, and good luck to him in the future. Uh, no ill will towards Jay Gruden. I personally don't think, you know, he did a good enough job at being a head coach. I think he's a pretty damn good, you know, passing coordinator uh, when you're speaking about the offense. Um, it's not really my forte. I'm more of like an old school. I want to see a running back, you know, dictate the game and then play solid defense and win that way. So like I said, it's been a it's been a good change up. It's been a it's you know, it's been a ride to see uh what a good passing offense can that can what can it can look like. Um back in the last solid few years where we had Kirk Cousins and um you know, he helped bring some of the best of Kirk Cousins out. Um and Jordan Reed when Jordan Reed and Kirk Cousins were, you know, hitting it off and we were having a, a, a crazy good passing attack. Um, still didn't run the ball very well at those times. Um, but still, you know, like it's crazy to see us um, in that sort of offense. I'm the, that's, not, that's not what I grew up watching. That's not what I kind of really feel like we sh the direction we should go in. But like I said, it's been a breath of fresh air. It's been a breath of fresh air watching someone come in here and in such a bad situation you know what I mean I'm sure there's gonna be people here saying oh why are you making this video oh what do you care about Jay Gruden for just leave him alone let him go or this or that I mean man I gotta you have you have to give props where props are due he came in here and, and a team that was just 
really just had no identity going up and down just we're bad one year we're just okay the next year this or that there was a there was a few solid years here where we knew like hey we're gonna be able to pass the ball we're gonna be able to score something on offense sure our defense still sucked you know what i mean but that's not jay gruden's forte this or that you know he made us reputable at certain times we've we've there's been some solid moments and some solid memories with him here you can't just deny that and um the things that he's had to the situation that he was put in to come here sure he accepted a job sure he wanted the job and you know he tried he tried to do the job and ultimately uh a few years later now uh, has failed but you have to think about this organization and what they've done the the crazy Bruce Allen run running things um you know letting the Kirk Cousins debacle letting our quarterback walk um you know bringing in Alex Smith he breaks his leg um you know mortgaging mortgaging our future on RG3 and he had to come in into that where we didn't have draft picks and yada 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 like just over and over well I mean he he didn't the trickle down effect of you know missing out on draft picks and stuff like that just the 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 dysfunction that he had to come in here and deal with um I think ultimately deserves at least some sort of thank you, you know, for actually tr- attempting to try. Who else? Who else are we gonna find that's actually gonna try? Um, you know, now we're gonna turn things over to Bill Callahan. You know, I don't really know much about Bill Callahan, honestly. I, I don't. I understand that he was uh, a coach for the Raiders. Uh, that doesn't do much for me. You know what I mean? Uh, doesn't ring a bell for me. Don't think. Uh, don't know when he was I, I'll have to look this up I'm I guess I'm uh I guess I'm ignorant to the to when Bill Callahan was a coach for the Raiders but I don't know when how long ago it was but the Raiders haven't been very good in a long time so you know turning the keys over to Bill Callahan isn't you know really doing much for me but even on ESPN they've reported that you know there's reports that we're looking at um our offensive coordinator for possibly the head coaching job next year. So that's a little bit better news. Um, it, it ultimately, you know, the the reason the, the person, if you want to sit here and say something bad about Jay Gruden, which I've done myself, but that's not what we're going here in this video. You need to look up at who hired Jay Gruden, and that's Dan Snyder and Bruce Allen. You need to direct your, um, you know, deflect all the negative comments about Jay Gruden on this video. We can make a whole nother video and we can do do that and, and whatnot, but that's not what this video is about. But you can direct all that stuff to Bruce Allen, who's still here, who I don't know what his record is since he's been here, but it's hilarious that uh, Bruce Allen let Kirk Cousins go because he wasn't winning enough or whatever and his record was whatever the record was. But it's like, well, what's your record, Bruce Allen? You know, you're, you're going to sit here and tell this guy he's not good enough. What's your What's your record? It's worse. You know what I mean? So we're not in a good spot right now. Um, Jay Gruden ultimately had to go. Uh, we can talk about that in another video. But I don't know, man. I, it's, it, it was, I was hoping things were going to work out with Jay Gruden. I really was. I was a Jay Gruden guy. I liked the guy. Um, you know, I, I just wanted the Redskins to do the right thing for once, find a good coach and, you know, hang on to him and don't just, you know, sit here and have to fire people and stuff and now we're back to doing that same old stuff uh part partially you know it's part part of this is jay gruden's fault all i'm saying is man you have to think about what this guy did with the limited resources with jordan reed never being able to play uh with people getting hurt all the time um you know and and not even that i'm not even making that much of an excuse for jay gruden because i have a feeling some of this has something to do with how jay gruden coaches um you know, and, and, and does warm-ups and stuff like that. Uh, I think some of that's on him. That's why there, there, there's, there, there's not, there can't be enough coincidence that so many people have been hurt um, and it can't come back to how you run your program. Um, so, you know, ultimately, that's why he's gone. Um, but wish him the best. I'm sure he'll find another job, maybe even with his brother or whatever. Um, you know, he's not going to be hurting for a job. Uh, he had six years here. It just, you know, as much as I want to talk about how how hard of a job he had, um, you still had six years to do something. 
um, and you didn't get the job done, that's on him. Um, so wish him the best. Um, let me know what you guys think Jay Gruden's best memory was here in Washington, um, whether it's the you know twisting of the nipples of um, who is it uh, the damn it the wide receiver uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know why he's Deshaun Jackson you know stuff like that what 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 is what is your most fondest memory of the Jay Gruden era um, wh- whether it's just a game that we won the the comeback game with Kirk Cousins or whatever just just remember I don't know something funny he said I don't know put whatever your 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 idea is in the comments below I would like to read it like I said this is this is a a, a, a we're moving on from Jay Gruden um, saying thank you man appreciate all you know all, everything you've done for us giving us a breath of fresh air um, con- uh, good luck in the future and that's it peace.